So to solve the assignment problem, Kuhn's Hungarian algorithm identified the non-essential employees, those who cannot be reassigned to another task, decreased the weights of the corresponding vertices by one unit, and increased the weights of the adjacent vertices by one unit. So we might try to find an optimal assignment for the graph shown. We initialize by setting the weight of each top vertex to the greatest weight of its incident edges, and the lower weights are set to zero. Then find the equality graph, we'll find a matching. Now, A is essential, since they can switch from task 1 to task 3. So, B, C, and D are non-essential. We'll decrease their weights by 1, and increase the weights of their adjacent vertices by 1, and get a new equality graph. We find a matching, and A is again essential since they can switch to task 3. B is also essential because they can also switch to task 3. However, C and D cannot. And since task 4 is definitely done by somebody, it is an essential task. So we decrease the value of vertices C and D, and increase the value of the adjacent vertex 4. Then find the new equality graph. We find a matching, which is a complete matching. So its weight equals the cost of the cover. So it will have the greatest weight possible. Now, we'll take a look at a number of ways of simplifying this algorithm, but one simplification emerges as follows. Suppose our equality graph has a perfect match, and so it solves the problem. Then we'll find the perfect match when we use any matching algorithm. And what this means is that we can ignore the edge weight and focus on finding any matching at all. This approach also requires we have a complete bipartite graph. What if we don't? We can make it complete by adding vertices, then edges with weight 0. These correspond to tasks for which an employee has no proficiency, or to tasks that can be done by a new employee. For example, let's try to find a matching of greatest weight for the graph shown. And notice we have fewer employees than tasks, and not all employees are qualified for all tasks. So we'll need to hire an additional employee. But for which task? So first, we'll create another employee, then make a complete bipartite graph by adding additional edges. Since their weights will be zero, we won't write down their weights. We'll initialize the node weights, find the equality graph. Now, it might strike you as peculiar here that D can do any of the jobs, but remember, D represents the person we're going to hire, so we don't yet know what proficiencies they're going to have. We're actually trying to figure out which ones would be most useful. So from the equality graph, we'll find a matching. So we see that in our matching, D can switch to task 4, so they are essential. Meanwhile, A, B, and C are not essential, and so tasks 1 and 2 are essential. So we'll decrease the weights of vertices A, B, and C, and increase the weights of vertices 1 and 2.
we'll find a new equality graph, and a new matching. D is essential. C has no other task they can switch to, so they are non-essential, as are A and B. So we'll decrease the weights of vertices A, B, and C, and increase the weight of tasks 1 and 2. We find the equality graph, and a matching, which is perfect, so it's a maximum weight matching. And so the maximum weight matching is employee A to task 1, employee B to task 4, employee C to task 2, and a new employee should be hired to do task 3.